There was once a day in my life when I had been out of school for 10 years and left my home in Pakistan as a 17-year-old bride following traditional norms. I moved to a completely different and overwhelming place, New York City. Shortly afterwards, I became a mother. The following year, my mother died and later, my father had a stroke. There was once a day when all these struggles burdened my soul. On that day, I became a KCC student to write my own destiny. Two years later, I stand before you to tell you that my future holds enormous potential. I'm ready to pursue my career at any college of my choice and honor my dream in a way that already feels clear and tangible. My fellow students, not only that the dreams begin here, but also the impossible becomes possible. I applied for the Jack and Cook Foundation Transfer Scholarship and I'm one of the 50 winners nationwide. This scholarship awards me $120,000 towards my education over the next three years. However, this isn't about me. This is about us. I ask myself, how can I give back to my community? And the answer is, I want to look inside people's brain. My father's stroke inspired me to become a neurosurgeon. The coronavirus crisis has taught us heroes to always wear capes. Sometimes they wear medical uniforms. No one values education more than the one who is being deprived of it and I have demonstrated it through my achievements. I write for the college newspaper and my writings were published in Distinctions. I am the president of the Biotech Club and a vice president for Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. I conduct research with CRSP and with k -Core. I broke the record of having the highest number, 52 honor credits in the history of our college. I have also lived the harsh realities of life, including financial struggles, oppression, and identity challenges as an immigrant. I believe challenges are the storms we must face to rise to greater heights. I became fearless, strong, energetic, and tenacious. If I were an animal, I would be a lioness. But my fellow students, I don't consider myself special. I represent each and every student who has ever enrolled at Kingsborough. My story is not different from yours. I clearly remember your struggles. Some of you are parents. Some have work obligations. Some have financial issues. Others have family problems. Every one of us is a lion or lioness of Kingsborough who not only overcame their personal challenges, but also went to war against COVID-19. Remember how overwhelming the switch to online classes felt? We owe today's success to the thoughtful administrative decisions, to the training provided to faculty and students alike, to funds and laptops made available to those in need, and to us for continuing our education against the uncertainty, fear, and loneliness of recent months. Now that our journey ends at Kingsborough, I'm going to miss it, especially how we were running late every morning for Professor Wood's class, the meaningful discussions on human rights in Professor Ryan's class, the help received from the honors program, spawning eels in Dr. Jahangir's lab, feeding the birds outside the cafeteria, group study at the library, and the events on campus that transformed us from separate individuals from different parts of the world into one big, beautiful NYC strong family. President Schrader told me, you can get anything you set your mind to. This is just the beginning of even greater things to come. On behalf of the class of 2020, I wish to thank Dr. Schrader and our provost, Dr. Russell, for making Kingsborough an excellent place for us to grow. To the administration and staff for keeping Kingsborough functional, faculty for tremendous education and for pushing us to do our best, and also to the parents, siblings, and extended family members of every graduating student for your unconditional support, love, and sacrifices. And I thank you, the class of 2020, for bringing diversity, unique experiences, and multiplicity of your cultures and languages to KCC. Lastly, I ask you to thank your MVPs, the, per the people behind your dreams. My MVPs are my husband, 
my father, my beautiful children, and my mother. I wish she were here today. Thank you and congratulations.